It skates out to the near side, where it's picked up now by Andrzejczyk, who works it back to Petaway. Petaway could just hold it here for the final 10 seconds and not even have to do a thing. What a way for the Warriors to wind this one up, Nikolai. ESU has beaten Westchester and will advance to the NCAA Division II Women's Lacrosse Championship Final Four. Well, redemption for ESU right now. And, you know, you talk about it in, in different sports, and I'm sure the, the adage is used in lacrosse, too. I mean, it's tough to beat a team maybe three times in a season, but how about four times in a season? And just today, ESU really, you know, you go back and you look at the score sheet, and it's that run of goals that ESU had. So they scored two back-to-back uh, -back right before the weather delay. Then they came out and scored three. And then after the halftime break, they came out and scored the first two goals. That certainly... As uh, this team, you know, Zenny went to school here. I think there's a lot of these ladies that she sees in herself right now. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And, and, you know, we talked to Tatiana Petue at the end of, of that game on Friday. And she told us that her career was not over. That team is enjoying themselves right now. They are in a circle amongst themselves uh, on the sideline here at Eiler Martin Stadium taking it all in. And uh, they certainly have a lot to be grateful for. Uh, they have a lot to be congratulated for as Zenny Barakos Yoder now wins her second uh, Atlantic region title in just six years as head coach of East Stroudsburg. That's pretty impressive. Mary Fitzsimmons leading an inward game of Duck, Duck, Goose as ESU takes the long way home. They advance to the Final Four of the NCAA Division II Women's Across Championship.